everyone and welcome back to Bear's Reading Nook. I'm Kara and today we're going to be talking about um, May wrap up and June uh, phase TBR. I am filming this a little bit early so there's still time for me to finish up a few books um, but I'm just going to run through what I've read so far and what I'm still in the process of reading. Um, so first off we have um, Gemina, um, read that, uh, it's a three star average read for me, um, basically it didn't feel like its own original story, it just felt like it took different things from, like, stereotypical, like, when I think of sci-fi I think of these specific things, and they basically just crammed them all in there and made a story with that, um, it does follow um, after the events of uh, Illumine, however it focuses on different characters, so it didn't feel as connected to it as I would have liked. Um, so overall it was just okay, not my favorite. I still am interested to see what I think it's Obsidio is um, about, so... I do plan on reading that one, but I don't have high hopes for it, but I'm still intrigued. Um, next we had, I believe for sci-fi, Skyward Volume 1. Um, read that, really enjoyed it. This one was a reread for me, um, and I think this is a, like, four-star read, um, I really enjoyed the story, um, and basically the story follows, uh, Willa and basically talks about, or brings up the idea of, uh, if gravity was turned off, how humans would live, and uh, it basically follows Willa as the main character, I believe 20 years after gravity has been turned off and so they've found ways to adapt and live um, in that uh, low or no gravity life. Um, next for Gifted we had Skyward Volume 2 which was gifted to me by one of my awesome friends. And um, so this one I enjoyed better than the first volume because it gave you a different um, view of, like, the world building. It basically focused on different aspects of the world, and I don't want to go into, like, detail about what that is because I don't want to spoil anything, but I really liked it. Uh, the art in here is fantastic, and this is honestly a five-star read for me. I really enjoyed it, and I'm excited to see where the next volume goes, and I believe the next volume is the last one, which is kind of sad, but um, I'm really excited to read that at some point. <laughs> um, okay, next we have The Wedding Date, which was for, I believe, um, other or genre that I don't normally read, and um, I basically chose this for romance, and I talked about it in um, a vlog for the Shrek readathon, so I will link that, um, down below as well as in the cards up there, I think. Um, but basically, this ended up being a DNF, but I did get to about the 200 page mark, so I did read a good bit of this. It just was really formulaic and not what I was looking for, I guess. Um, I didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed, like, the first 60 pages, and then it just kind of went downhill from there. So, sad times. Really would have liked to, um, enjoy this, um, because one of my friends thought that I would, and now I feel bad because I DNF'd it. <laughs> oh well. Um, next we have... Uh, the Tenth Girl, which I've been listening to on audio. Um, I'm still listening to it, but I have no doubt that I will finish it before, um, the month is over. I think I'm on chapter, like, 25, 26, and there's, like, 
maybe 10 chapters left in total. Um, so yeah, no issue with that at all. Um, next is the Dream Defenders. I have started this. I am about 16, 17 pages in there. Um, this one I do plan on reading. Um, I'm planning on taking part in, by now you'll probably already have seen video or it will be coming up soon, um, the Do The Thingathon and um, this is the book that I'm going to focus on. There's another like couple of options that I have but this will be the main focus because I want to get this done. Um, I've just been focusing on other books and so this kind of like fell to the wayside a little bit this month. Um, also, you know, there's the fact that I just didn't read. I finished, I think, the first book halfway through the month, so it's been slow reading. Um, and then finally, I believe this would be the last book, The Girl with the Louding Voice, um, which I also have started. I'm on, I believe, chapter four. Four. Yeah. Um, so this one is, um, I, I plan on reading this, but for now I'm setting it down because for me to get through this book, I think I will need the audio book. Um, and that is just because the way that it's written, and I think it's intentional, um, is from the perspective of a 14, almost 15 year old girl who, um, was taken out of school and therefore like she has an understanding of how to speak English but it's not like how I would speak it in that it's like um instead of saying like um my mom was sick or something like that, it would say my mom had the bad or something like that where like you can understand and figure out what they were meaning but it takes more brain power and because of that I think that it would help me to read this as well as listen to the audiobook. So for now I'm setting it down because the audiobook is on hold but it was going to be like four to six weeks. So I am coming back to this. It will just be a little bit um, but I have started it, so no punishment for that. Um, but yeah, so those are the thoughts I have on those books. And I mean, I somehow am actually doing decently well this month, which was not what I was thinking would happen. So let's get into the board. Okay, rolling a d8 to see how many books I'm reading this month. And we got a three. Okay, I can do that. Okay, so the dice were nice to me and we only have to do three card picks. I'm totally happy about that. Also, I've added the cards from last time off on the board. Um, we don't currently have another phase, so they'll stay up here until we do. Um, I'm still working on um, rewards. I have like a few ideas, but nothing set in stone. And as far as the punishments go, I need to update it, but I think I'm going to um, have an extra, basically an extra pick from the cup of Kindle books um and that be the punishment um there are some books in there that i am looking forward to reading and some that i am not so it's kind of like it it could very well be an actual punishment or it could be something that's like okay we're good with reading that but i think because i'm confident that excuse me um i will read all the books um this month I'm not taking a punishment, so let's get into the card picks. So the first card is a yellow 10. Let's see, yellow, one, two, three, eight, nine, 10. Okay, oh yes. This one is a passport pick, and I will explain that in a second. 
Okay, so the first pick was passport pick, and that basically means that we take this passport pa passport to British Mysteries, um, which has um, seven different options for authors, one of which is a bonus author, and choose a book buy them and read that and then once you've done that you get a little sticker to put in the little frame um, that corresponds with that author and you kind of have collected that person um, like you would uh, get stamps in an actual passport. Um, and so the book that I'm going to read is The Scapegoat by Daphne de Maurier. Um, it just sounds really interesting and basically from reading the synopsis, it sounds like two people meet up who look um, very similar to each other and one ends up taking the other's identity. And it goes from there. It seems like mystery with like thriller potential elements in there. It sounds interesting. Hopefully I enjoy it. Um, second card is A1, red one, um, which is this one. which is a random letter. Okay. And we now have a run of four. We just need a set of four. The second prompt that we got was a random letter. And basically for this one, I'm going to a random letter generator, uh, like site. I'll screen record my phone and um, basically whatever that letter is, I either have to find preferably that letter in the title. I'm not going to make it be the first letter in the title. Um, and if I can't find that, then potentially um, in the author's name, um, but preferably in the title itself. Okay, so. Screen recording. Okay, M. Okay, so for random letter, we got M. And for this one, I'm going to be reading My Brother's Husband. Um, so this is volumes one and two. Um, so it's really thick, but I am, I think, just going to reread the first one and read the second one immediately after in this big chunker of a book. Um, but basically, this follows... Um, Mike, who goes to um, Tokyo to basically meet his late husband's brother and kind of get to know um, the family that he really didn't get um, to know well when his husband was alive. Um, it's really cute um, and I'm excited to get back into this uh, story because I really enjoyed uh, the first volume when I read it a few months ago. And last card for this round is a red 11. Oh, and I need to put that up there, so give me one second to put that up there and grab the 11th one, which would be down here. And that is random color. The last card that we got gave us the prompt of random color. And basically, um, I have a random color generator app on my phone. So I will again screen record and um, we will see what color um, I get. And basically, whatever color that is, I have to try to match it for um, the cover of the book. Ooh, we got a nice purple color. Okay. Okay, so for the random color generator color, we got purple. And I think the purple on this matches like a bit. Like there's lighter purple, but then there's like darker purple here. I think it matches. We're gonna go with that because, I mean, I really want to read this. I know nothing about this specific one other than it's the third book 
in the Dream Defenders series, and the second one is on my um, TBR for May, and I plan on finishing it um, soon, so I can immediately then just jump into this one. Why not? Um, so yeah, the... I can't tell you anything about this, one, because I don't know anything, but also because it's the third book in the series, so I'll just give you another rundown of what the first book was about. Okay, so the first book in the Dream Defender series follows Nolan and Aaron, who are 14, 15 year olds. Um, Nolan finds out that he has um, special powers in the dream world, and Aaron is trying to recruit him to be a member of the Dream Institute, who are the people that kind of keep the dreamers safe. Um, and in trying to recruit Nolan, things end up happening and they have to come together to um, save the day. And I'm just really excited. I love the world that um, Neil Denhartog has, like, made of, like, the dream realm and stuff like that, and I'm excited to see where this book goes, and I'm also excited to see where the fourth book, I'm not sure if it's the final book, but I know that he is in the par in the process of getting the fourth book, um, released soon, I believe. I want to say at one point he was thinking, late summer, so I want to get on this and read this as soon as I can. So these two, as well as Scapegoat by Daphne du Maurier, are um, the books that I am reading this month. I'm also planning on participating in the whatever-a-thon, or whatever you want a thon, um, and I think for that one I um, I pledged or said I would read six books, which honestly is probably gonna be, um, a good amount because there is a very high possibility that I will be traveling a decent bit, um, the weekends of June. <laughs> so, um, I will probably end up reading the three books on here as well as potentially three others, um, one of which may also be the book club book, which I think I know what I'm going to do for um, my friend book club, but I need to get on reading the book for um, May for that, so we'll see what I end up deciding and I will possibly update you guys with what I decide to do for whatever a thon. We shall see. <laughs> anyway, um, that's all for this video, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!